So this morning I'm at Wainstall's Tower and this is a uh, landmark just on the south side of Halifax between Halifax and the Calder Valley and Hebden Bridge. And I heard a really good broadcast on the uh, on Radio 4 yesterday for which I will provide a link below. And it was talking about environmental policy and how environmental policy is set often very poorly and sometimes completely counterproductively uh, within the European Union. It talked uh, specifically about the great crested newt and the fact that um, a not uncommon animal is given very lavish support and protection under the Habitats Directive. It talked about how uh, renewables are supported actually beyond what is um, environmentally justifiable. Renewables are given support uh, rather than, say, energy reduction and insulation programs. Uh, it talked about the, uh, uh, the drastic, the very serious effects of the common fisheries policy uh, on our fish stocks and how those are not managed sustainably precisely because of the common fisheries policy. It talked about the lavish support that is given to uh, farmers such that they are some of the most uh, protected farmers in the world, uh, damaging uh, third world farmers through dumping and protection and costing the British taxpayer and also the British shopper uh, an enormous amount, amount of money. The environmentalist case is very much up for discussion at the moment uh, because of the launch earlier this week of uh, Greens for Europe, uh, a campaign that's being spearheaded uh, by the Green Party nationally. And the Green Party uh, has voted uh, at its conference to uh, be very much in the vanguard of the Stay campaign. Again, I provide a link below. My own view as a Green Party member is that there are many people on the centre, amongst the environmentalist movement, and on the left that are actually very suspicious of this big government, this programme of uh, political amalgamation, and that we are better off setting our own laws in this country and doing so in discussion with other countries within the European Union and far beyond rather than trying to forge a new country with them which at the end of the day is what the European Union actually represents a new country